Today, we're going to take a look at using HubSpot's Custom Report Builder. A lot of powerful tools in here, a lot of robust reporting capabilities, but a lot of information can also be overwhelming. Um, you know, a lot of people don't quite know where to start when it comes to this reporting tool. So I'm going to create a custom report here. I'm going to go to this custom report builder and I'm going to pick my data sources. To start, I'm going to use companies and deals. And I'm going a little quick, but I want to get to this next screen here. And so this is where I think a lot of people kind of get stuck because, you know, now I'm looking at this new interface. What do I do? How do I start reporting on my data? So I think the simplest way for a lot of teams to start is go to this KPI button. And if you hit that, and then I'm just going to drag over count of contacts. And all this is going to start to show me is how many contacts are in my database. So right off the bat, I'm just seeing a number. And again, this is to kind of learn the tool. So now I'm going to search for a property over here and I'm searching across my contacts, my companies and my deals because those are my three deal sources, my three data sources. I'm going to find original source here. And if I include this with a group by, now I'm going to take the same KPI, my count of contacts, and I'm going to group it by my original source values. So direct traffic, email marketing, offline sources. This is where my contacts are coming from, how they're getting into my HubSpot database. Now that I can see this kind of breakdown with the numbers, I think it becomes easier to flip back to this chart view. So now I can come over here, hit this vertical bar. Now I can start to see, okay, I have my count of contacts on my y-axis. I've got my, uh, sorry, my count of contacts on my y-axis here. I've got my original source going across the x-axis. Now I can add additional fields. So if I want to break this down by something like create date, so I'm going to take a look at my create dates, put it here. It has monthly. I'm going to change this value. So I got, you know, all my monthly. So I got 200 or 2.2 thousand contacts from our organic search. And this is breaking out all the months they were created. Instead of monthly, I can change this to, let's say, yearly and hit apply. It's going to update the same chart. So maybe it's a little less busy. All right. So now I can see, you know, these are the, you know, in purple here. These are my contacts from 2020. In yellow, these are my contacts from 2021. If I want to flip these, I can very easily take this, put my original source back down in the fields. I'm going to put my yearly up in my x-axis, and I'm going to put original source here. So now I'm going to see my years across, and it's going to break down by original source. I flipped the data here. So now I see, yep, in 2020, this is my breakdown of my contact sources. In 2021, this is my breakdown of my contact sources. Now, if we want to do something like add in some company properties, um, whoops, I'm going to come here and just turn these off to start and say, all right, in my companies, let's do something like industry. So I'm going to put the company industry here. And I'm going to say, instead of breaking down um, or instead of looking at access by year, I'm going to look by industry. So I'm going to be looking at where do our different industries uh, come into our database? You know, how are they getting there? So vast majority don't have a value that tells me I can go and you know add some more information into my database, add some information for the sales team to see. Um, but you know, then here I got a nice little pop. I'm guessing the computer software. So you know, here's a breakdown of our leads and contacts that are coming from companies that have an industry of computer software. How are they getting into the database? This many from offline sources, this many from organic search, this many from paid social, et cetera. <clears throat> so if I go over here now to this tab, just gonna kind of keep exploring the tool out loud, I can add some filters. So if instead of looking at, you know, at this you know, industry for all of my sources, let's say I wanna just look at this for if original source is organic search. So I'm going to say organic search has to be the original source. I'm going to apply this filter. HubSpot's going to update my chart right here. And now I can see that same information just for my organic search group, you know, group here. If I wanted to add another filter, let's say I want to make sure, you know, all of my contacts are from this current year. You know, let's stop looking so historical. We're going to say everyone is created this year. And I'm going to group this filter with filter number one, this original source, because otherwise I don't have my filters grouped and say if anyone meets this criteria or this criteria. And if I group these together, now I've created an and filter. So I'm saying organic search has to be, you know, the original source and the create date has to be for this year. And so now I start to get, you know, a little bit more manageable numbers, something I can wrap my head around. Um, 
but very cool tool pieces here. Another piece I want to show, because uh, I think it's super valuable, is a pivot table. So if I'm looking at these same values, original source and industry, HubSpot's going to quickly separate this out into something that people are probably used to seeing in like an Excel view. So I've got more organic search and my breakout by industry. I can see these numbers very clearly. If I go back to my filters here, I'm going to turn off this filter for organic search. I'm just going to remove that. So I'm still filtering only by contacts that are created this year, but now I'm going to look at all my different sources. So I've got a breakout for direct traffic. I've got a breakout for organic search here, referrals, organic social, all kinds of cool reports you can do. So as you start to think about, you know, we can combine any of the data we see about our contacts with any data that we see with our companies, with any data we look at with our deals. And that's just the deal sources that we've been looking at here. If you go back to this edit deal sources, I can add in something specific like landing pages. So I want to report on contacts who have viewed a certain landing page or contacts that have viewed a certain landing page within a certain date range. You know, all my contacts who converted on my PPC campaign in 2022 or in 2021. Um, same thing on the sales front. I can go and look at all my sales related metrics, things like how many calls are my team placing? How many emails are we sending? Um, what do response rates look like? What do close rates look like? You know, put that same data in here and be able to, you know, move it around and create different reports. When I save this report, it's going to, you know, make me put in a report name um, and I have the option to add it to a dashboard here. Um, regardless of what you do, once you hit save, HubSpot also has this handy feature where I can save it as a new report. So if I'm updating filters and things on the reply or on the fly, I can just hit save, save, save. Um, and kind of add those reports pretty quickly to a new dashboard as we go. If anyone has any reporting or questions, would love to chat. Please reach out.